because uh, I, I get to, writing about horror is a blast because I get to, to uh, constantly live in the world that I love, which is the dark side. Uh, to me, it's fun because it's filled with the unexpected. So one of the things that I find great about horror and writing horror is the research part of it. Just, it gives me liberty to go read a bunch of weird books, to you know, read Stephen King like a scholar, uh, like, for instance, next summer I'll be going to Transylvania for an academic conference. Uh, I don't think I'd be doing that if I wasn't a horror writer, and that's like a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thrill for me as a, both a fan of Dracula and someone who writes vampire stories. So, you know, that's just one example of just researching things is uh, part of the fun. I, I discover weird things in my research, and then I get to pass that on to other people, which is... <laughs> Always a thrill, creeping people out. <laughs> well, another thing I really like about writing horror is just the sheer storytelling element of it. Just like actually like reciting my work to an audience, uh, delivering a fiction reading in public. To me, that's a lot of fun, and when I can't do that, I've actually moved into doing audio books and uh, recording things online. Uh, to me, that's like an area of horror that at once is fresh and new and also kind of reaches back to the, uh, you know, the oral tradition of the form. I mean, people were telling ghost stories since the beginning of storytelling. And, and to me, that's a fun part of it. Uh, you know, a lot of people think, as a horror writer, I must be some creepy guy who just uh, works alone in the basement by myself cackling in the dark. But actually, I like to, to go out and interact with people. And, uh, so storytelling uh, in the horror tradition is a lot of fun for me. It's one of the big thrills. Well, the last thing that I really like most about horror is actually murdering people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Delete that. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of related to what I said before about storytelling, but it's the publishing side of it, because publishing in horror is a very unique and distinctive community. Uh, I'll go to places like World Horror Convention and meet with other uh, writers of horror, as well as fans. And I get to interact with them, and not just by telling stories, but by hanging around and geeking out over movies, you know, the latest films that have come out or whatnot. And uh, another side of publishing that I really like is the surprise of when a book comes out, because I'm always, like, fascinated by the artwork they come up with for these weird twisted thoughts that I have. Like in this book, Proverbs for Monsters, uh, this was written by... Can I get this on camera? Like this book, this book... <laughs> This book, this book, I ruined the whole thing because I didn't. Oh, that didn't, was good. Was it? Uh -huh. Like Proverbs for Monsters, <laughs> which is, uh, this is a cover art by Matt Schuster, uh, somebody I actually knew uh, when I was teaching back at the University of Oregon. Uh, somehow we connected online and he knew I was working on this book and he came up with this great kind of piece that he contributed and we worked together. And in, in, inevitably, the book uh, just, you know, he had really sick and twisted pictures in here that uh, surprised me. And I love that whenever something is, is published, uh, I get to see what the new cover art will look like, or if there's an illustration in a magazine. I kind of live for that. Uh, so that's just another kind of wrinkle in uh, the publishing dynamic. Uh, and I, I just like the book world, you know. I got into this because uh, I'm not not just because I love horror, but I love books, and that's why I teach at Seton Hill University, uh, and why I even went on to get a PhD is simply because I like talking books with people. It's, uh, you know, it's a common bond, even though it's creepy, <laughs> that uh, I love to share with people. So.